Hey, what up YouTube? So this video is going to be on my portable solar for my RV camper. So here's my setup. Hopefully you already saw a couple of the other videos that I did on the Dokio panel and the Renogy ETFE flexible solar panels. And here's how I have them set up out here. So I'm really not happy with the way that I have this one set up. It's barely propped up. As you saw before, I used that PVC that I put together and I'm not terribly pleased with it. it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. But it's it's a little bit more difficult to set up. I have it kind of bungeed and staked. The other end, I have stakes in the ground. And then I have it wired and running over to this mess. So I have a couple of splitters. There's just a a Y, and then also three branch. And obviously there's two sets of those because of positive and negative, if you didn't know that. So I have the Tokyo wired in right here, and then the other three go into here. And I was just setting up the last one and I decided to angle it and turn it that way to try and catch some of the afternoon sun. Not that there's very much today because it's been a little bit overcast here and there. Partly sun peeking through here and there, but uh, we're still putting out decent power surprisingly enough so before i put in this third renogy i had those two and the dokio hooked up there's four on top of my trailer but they're pretty much shaded so i don't know if they're really putting out all that much power but uh we were pushing uh what were we pushing about 19 volts at uh 11 amps at one point so that was uh that was pretty decent considering that's how much sun we have so obviously i think the sun was peeking through a little bit more than more than that at that time but uh it still wasn't full sun so i have this nice heavy extension cord it's a 100 foot extension cord it's 10 gauge I think it's a monster to to wind up and deal with. But I have it running over to the trailer. Walk over to the trailer. And so here's the inputs on the trailer. So this one, the one on the right is going to the generator. And then the one on the left is the solar only input. That way I can run it off away from the trailer. Because you can see that the trailer's parked underneath a bunch of trees. So the solar panels that I have up there are likely not doing a whole lot. You can see the edge of one of the solar panels right there. And then that's how far out they ran. So not the full 100 feet, but they're run out into the sun. Well, would be sun if it wasn't cloudy. So that's my portable solar setup. Thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.